Yes, YouTube, Dane Staff back again. This is becoming like a, a regular habit of mine now, isn't it? Well, let's call it a regular accident because I've not had any pickups for ages, but I've had a few recently. On the squash, because I need to keep myself hydrated for tonight. So this isn't just a pickups video. We'll call it um, an updates video because uh, tonight, returning for a one-time special live from lockdown, is back basically you all remember i did the streams during lockdown i can't do it every night like i did back then so we're going to start off tonight with a one-off special great lineup of guests more guests than i ever had on at one time before so it could descend into chaos which is fun i like chaos so tonight nine o'clock on this channel live from lockdown it's called Bandits and Bootleggers, so that gives away some of my uh, guests for sure. But we're just going to have a few beers, talk some gaming, talk whatever's on our mind. With the lineup, it could be fucking anything really, if I'm honest. Am I going to do any more? I don't know. I don't want to promise something that I can't fulfil. Uh, I might do them as a Saturday special. I might do four over the lockdown. You know, the lockdown that runs to December, but the furlough scheme runs till March. I'll let you lot decide on that. So anyway, I've, I've been having some pickups. I'll start with the biggest one of the lot. And the reason I want to get this out already is because some of the items have gone to other YouTubers. So the stuff that's not going to be here because I've already sold it from the bundle that I bought. I don't want to give away who to. And obviously I don't want to give away what items I uh, moved on. So I saw an ad, um, I was at work Tuesday, Big Game Al, he was up in Briley Hill, my neck of the woods, uh, those of you who don't know, I, I'm classed as living in Dudley, but I'm probably closer to Briley Hill, I'm a little bit in between, but uh, I saw a pickup while I was at work, um, I don't want to put the picture up because obviously it'll spoil the other person's, what they've had off me, it was basically um, a twin Famicom, which I can show you that at least. Which we already know, I've already got one, I've uh, got the green and black one. Uh, but this one's, uh, as you can see, RGB modded. So there was this, there was 19 boxed NES games, and then there was 17 loose cartridges, slash discs, for £300. Now some of you might think that's a lot of money, I did, at first. Then I put it into the... Um, the WhatsApp group I'm in. And everyone was saying that's a pretty good price to be fair. So I messaged the guy. I offered him 270 at first. You have a cheeky offer. Uh, and then I said look I'll pay the 300 But I can't come till I've finished work tonight. And pick my missus up. which Because I was picking her up. Because Liam was working on a car as I previously mentioned. So it was after 6 o'clock before I could go. And the guy said, yeah, no worries. And when I turned up, the guy said he'd had another person offering him really low ball offers, 150, 200. He said, and then when the guy found out I'd bought the bundle, he offered 350. Now, that guy could have easily said, you know what, I'll take the 350, but he didn't. He said, no, I've already agreed to sell it for the 300 pounds to me, and I was coming to collect it. So he, he was true to his word. Um, I asked how much one of these was worth because I was originally going to move this one on. And when we looked up one RGB modded uh, twin Famicom was worth, I bet that guy was kicking himself because the last two on eBay have sold for 310 and 350 quid. So hence why this one's staying in my collection. Just for uh, Basabi James, I've uh, I have kept the little card that now lives in there, like you told me to keep it. So so obviously I'm now going to show you some games. So. Uh, he was, he was a collector. He got a Neo Geo um, just on the floor with a few games. He, he was selling off his collection. In fact, there's a funny story. I, I pulled up at his house, and in his porch, he got some piles of bags of plaster. And as you all know, I'm a plasterer. And I, a horrible feeling sunk over me, like thinking, have I put the correct address in? Or is this a job that I've come to price up? Have I got them all mixed up? But it wasn't. The guy who was selling the game was having plastering done. Anyway, it's a, it's a fucking boring story. Do you want me to just show you the games? Go, here's game. Fuck it off. I'll do that in a bit. Um, I'll start with... Apologies about that. I uh, had to do a jump cut, which I don't normally do. Um, so the first game is uh, just a loose Famicom disc. If, for those of you who haven't seen a Nintendo Famicom disc, I'm sure you have because you all watch other YouTubers who show you. Uh, 
it's a tennis game. I've not played it yet. It was just one that was inside the Famicom, which was obviously when he bought it. This game I'd actually been watching, and it goes for about £20, and I was going to buy it off eBay, but it was in this bundle. In fact, all the Famicom games that were in this bundle, some that I've moved on were all some of the better titles. Uh, so we got Kid Dracula. So it's a Konami game, as you can see if it wants to focus. And obviously, because he got NES games, uh, he got the converter. So basically, I, I plug this into. I think I can obviously plug it into the Twin Famicom, but I can also plug this into my top loader and play um, PAL and NTSC American NES games through my uh, Famicom. Sometimes he says they run at the wrong uh, frame rate, like so. He said he's trial and error. He said Batman's one that runs way too fast. You can tell by the music. But again, that's probably another twenty pound item to go in with what I'd already picked up. So, I'll move on to the NES games. I think nearly all of them are PAL except for a couple, which I'll, I'll point out. So we've got Pinbot, which I haven't tried, but I'm guessing it's a pinball game. Uh, Tec Tecmo Bowl, uh, he actually played this. He, this is one of the American games. He said it's a really good game. He said, who did he say if you play as? I think it's if you play as the Rams and get to someone called Bo Jackson. He just runs for miles with it. So I know fuck all about American football other than I like the colours of the Miami Dolphins. All these are games, by the way, that I don't have in my collection. That Well, obviously I do now. They're all going to go into my collection up there. I've upgraded some of my loose games for box games. So uh, those of you who are in the Discord will know I've offered some for sale. Uh, one I didn't have, which is surprising, is uh, Kid Icarus. Talking about uh, bootleggers, the VHS bootleggers were talking quite a lot about him last night. Uh, and that's Jackie Chan, Action Kung Fu, Hudson Soft. Jimmy Connor Tennis. Connor's Tennis, should I say. All the, all the stuff is in really good condition as well. Uh, Rygar. Come with the official Nintendo dust sleeve. As previously mentioned, Batman, the video game. Again, one I didn't have, quite a common one. No unofficial dust sleeve with this one. Kick off. And the Flintstones, the rescue of Dino and Hoppy. Uh, is what's the American Flintstones game that's worth quite a lot of money? Is it Dinosaur Peak or something? So now we're going to go on to all the box stuff. So what, some of the condition of the box stuff's really, really good. I mean, starting off, these are all box complete except for di uh, one of the later games, which I'll tell you. Hasn't got a manual, but all the rest have. I mean, look at the condition of that. Totally rad. You know, to find NES games in this good a condition is is next to impossible, really. The Adventures Alolo 2. So you've got slight crease in it there. Slight creases in the side. But, you know, as NES boxes go, this is in really good condition. There were two copies of this game. One that I've got up for sale. Obviously, I've kept the best copy for myself. Which was another game that I was looking at buying, Gremlins 2. Here's a discussion for you all. Gremlins 1, is it a Christmas movie? I say yes. I say yes. Solstice, the quest of the st staff of de demons. Actually, I'm looking at this now and uh, looking at the back, uh, the style is very much like uh, Head Over Heels for all you 8-bit uh, micro fans. So, again, the condition of this game, superb. Here's one for Eddie, Roller Games, which is actually nothing like a sports title. It looks like a, a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Again, the condition, superb. Quantum Fighters, which looks very much like Tron from its art style at the front, but on the back, as you can see, 
it's a platformer again one of the better condition games that I had off the guy well I had all this stuff really now I had this game and I've got this game for sale but it's loose cart and mine was NTSC this is obviously the PAL version robot warrior and again excellent condition not even uh, broken that hang tab, tab thing so uh, as I say again lovely condition box complete one for uh, David Retro Games Play for Badly, who again gets a mention in my video. Start leaving a comment, David. I know you normally do. The Fantastic Adventures of Dizzy. And again, that's in great condition. Uh, let's get this one out. Obviously, you've got the uh, unique Codemasters style cart where you plug an original NES into. We've got the manual, and it's even got like a map slash poster. So, you know, this, this guy really looked after his stuff. In fact, it came from CKJ Computer Software, which must have been... He did say, because where he lived was near... Where was it near? Great Bar. And he said there was an independent gaming shop not far from there when he a few years ago when he bought all this stuff. That's where he got a lot of it from. And I can't get the poster back in. I might just send it off to David Retro Games Play Badly. Solomon's Key, which looking at the back, it reminds me very much of uh, Gauntlet, but I don't think it's like Gauntlet. But again, the condition, superb. These are all going in box protectors as well. I bought a load of box protectors for them to go into. Little Nima, the Dream Master. Again, another platformer. And again, another one that's in really, really good condition. They've all been opened properly by splitting the thing rather than peeling it off and ripping it. You know, there's the odd bit of sticker, but <sighs> box NES games. Bure Fighter. Uh, is this like a platformer slash shooter? I had this box for the Game Boy off Liam at Revival. Talking of Revival... Let's hang our heads. Today would have been uh, the first open day of revival, which unfortunately has fell foul of COVID. Uh, hopefully next year Craig and the team will get on and again I'll be part of helping out, part of having a stall, part of revival. That is one of the few events I'm 100% keeping. But back to the games. Blue Shadow. Again, Tato. Tito. I say Tato. I don't give a fuck what's right Again, lovely condition, man. The condition of these games. I mean, I've I've probably got about 20 box NES games as it is, so I'm going to be adding about another 50. Well, there's more than 15. Count them. This is one that's not as in good condition. I'm a little bit gutted about because uh, I love the franchise. The new Ghostbusters 2. I might, because this is one of the few that's not got the uh, polystyrene in, so I might order some... Uh, aftermarket ones again this is the one with the uh, big heads just to solid this box up a bit more and i can make it look in a little bit better bionic commander again this is one that's seen better days but again it's, it's still not bad it's still not bad lucasarts star wars again this is another one that's a little bit more battered but you know, they're box NES games at the end of the day. Box NES and box NES games, you're doing well to find any, really. Shadowgate. Is this an RPG? Definitely looks like it could be an RPG. Katie's written a name on it there. What you do that for, Katie, if you're watching. Right, pronouncing this. Kickle, Kickle, Kubel. I actually had this uh, was one of the games that I got loose but obviously I'm, if you get the chance to upgrade especially to a box in this condition you're always going to upgrade aren't you so and finally this is the only one that's not complete and uh, I had this loose cart again it's this one of the lesser best condition ones it's got no polystyrene no manual but it's still an upgrade because it's got a box and I'll go in a box protector and it'll look half decent so as I say, I paid £300 for all that, the twin Famicom, plus some of the stuff that I've moved on. So all in all, I think I've done well there. 
people hear 300 pounds splashed out on a bundle and i think god that's expensive but when you look at the quality of stuff uh i've done all right i think i've done all right just a couple of other little pickups before uh, i leave you all bored one night on ebay flicking through picked up a load of uh, vintage 80s garbage pal kids let me just flick through and show i might do a video just on these because i used to have a lunchbox it was a fluorescent green teenage mutant ninja turtle lunchbox when i was a kid so you got the uh, decal on the front then on the box on the back and on the inside i'd stuck a ton of these as a kid i used to have these you used to buy them from mr patel's corner shop bless mr patel i, I hope he's still alive actually but he used to have a little wicker basket man and he used to count his change out of it he used to go here do you want your two your three mr patel and then when i was older he used to sell me beer when i was underage so all round legend really and he, he had the best kids sweet shop man um everything was on display in a glass counter and then you got the stickers so uh i remember the thundercats ones with the chewing gum uh, obviously the garbage pile kids do you remember slimy slurps the he-man slimy slurps he used to have them sweet shops were with a bomb back in the day but it was like the tiniest little sweet we weren't just sweets like because you'd have on the left hand side i remember you got the grocery stuff and all the old people used to be pissed off that he'd be doing you a, a 20 pence mix because like you got all the fucking sweets and you're doing it and they wanted to just buy their fucking potatoes or whatever but yeah garbage pal kids are, and that lunch box obviously when it became a little bit too like uncool to have a lunch box that was fresh and green with ninja turtles and garbage pal kids on I used to keep my monster in my pockets in them. I put them all in there and my boglins. And then they went to live in the loft and then probably went to the boot sale and mum and dad sold them. So I love trading cards. I've got a box down here full of all my trading cards from when I was a kid. I've sent some Power Ranger stickers off to someone actually on the Toy Division site to help him complete his album. Uh, but these are as nostalgic for me as anything as a kid. Your, uh, your collector's cards, your collector's stickers... And video games and stuff like that so yeah i bought a load of garbage pal kids wanted fat slob look at the size of his face little face man so yeah fuck all to do with gaming but it's not picked up really. and the other thing i picked up uh this was real cheap this was 4.99 plus postage and i purely bought it for the one thing so here's the manual for it it's for the vectrex soccer soccer football man but i just wanted the overlay because I want to try and collect as many of these overlays as possible because I've got the multi cart, but the overlay really makes the game sort of thing. So for four four pound fifty plus postage that was. So I'll find a protective thing to put it in, and that's it. So that's everything. As I say, this weekend would have been revival. So uh, hopefully, at least there'll be some gaming content out. I hope the guys who have moved stuff on to will do a video. Uh, and just a reminder: live from lockdown, nine pm tonight. Be there or be square. Take it easy, YouTube.